Hello, today's topic is 3C different views. Um, šiandieną mes su mus pasimokėsime, kaip reikėtų išreikšti savo nuomonę, į argumentuojant, paskaitysime tekstą apie lapį medžioklę, uh, išmoksime keletą naujų žodžių uh, ir prazų, kaip savo nuomonę pasakyti teisingai. Ką reiškia teisingai? Kiekviena nuomonė gali būti teisinga, jeigu jinai yra argumentuota. Tai uh, turime pasakyti, kodėl taip manoma. Uh, let's begin from exercise uh, three and let's find out the words, the meaning of the words. Pirma žodis yra ban, reiškia uždrausti, cruel, žiaurus, damage, žala, uh, economy, ekonomika, illegal, nelegalus, law, įstatymas, outdated, pasenės, senoviškas, respect, pagarba, upper class, Viduomenė, tai yra aukštesnioji klasė, ypatingai senesniais laikais, tai buvo, pavyzdžiui, karaliai, didikai ir taip toliau. So, let's try to do the listening of the text and um, find out some new words. Um, okay. I'm going to leave the script. Kai, darysite tekst, kai klausysite tekstą, klausykite ir padarykite prašau pratimą antrą. Uh, match the headings from 1 to 5 with paragraphs from A to, C to C. There are two headings that you do not need. Tai viso mes turime keturias galimas antraštes, o tekste yra trys paragrafai. Parinkite tinkamą antraštę uh, kiekvienam paragrafui tekste, tai reiškia, kad du, uh, dvi antraštes bus tos, kurių mums nereikia, jos tiesiog liks. Lesson 3C. Exercise 2. Fox hunting. Hunting is a very old activity. Hundreds of years ago, kings and their families hunted deer. In the 1800s, fox hunting became more popular. The hunters used groups of dogs to chase the foxes while they followed on horses. They wore special clothes for hunting, bright jackets, usually red, black boots and black hats. This tradition continued through the 1800s and 1900s, especially in rural areas. However, many people in the UK were unhappy about the tradition of fox hunting. It was especially unpopular among people who lived in cities. They thought it was a cruel and outdated activity and argued that it is wrong to kill animals for fun. The government agreed. And on the 15th of September 2004, they made a new law to ban hunting with dogs. The traditional fox hunts had to stop. They were now illegal. Some people in the countryside feel very strongly that the hunting ban is unfair. They argue that the government stopped the hunts only because they disliked upper-class rural traditions. They say that... Foxes eat farm animals, so farmers need help to protect their animals. In the countryside, 60% of people want fox hunting to continue. We should respect rural traditions and not allow people from cities to stop them. Fox hunts created jobs for people, so the ban does a lot of damage to the economy in the countryside. Some people even try to continue the tradition of hunting by using dogs and horses to chase a sock with a special smell, but it isn't the same. So, which is more important? Respecting a rural tradition or protecting foxes? It's still a question that divides town and country in Britain. So the answers to exercise two are these. That leaves us with the second and the fourth heading, which are extra. We don't need them. Let's do exercise three. Uh, before we have uh, translated the words, um, please pause the video now, do exercise three, then unpause it and let's check. So the answers to exercise three are these. Cruel upper class, outdated, economy, law, damage, respect, 
illegal and the last one is ban we're going to listen to four teenagers they're going to be talking about hunting uh, who agrees and who disagrees with the ban so while listening um, try uh, to guess uh, who agrees and who doesn't agree with the ban we have Olivia Rory Jake and Christine um, exercise 5 while listening um, listen as many times as you feel it is necessary I'm going to leave the script so while you listen do exercise 4 and in exercise 5 you need to match two opinions with each speaker we have four speakers and we have eight opinions that means every speaker gets to have two opinions which you need to choose for them I'm going to leave the script and let's try to do exercises four and five lesson 3c exercises four and five Olivia I live in the country but I don't know anybody who likes the idea of fox hunting my dad's a farmer and he hated it when hunters rode horses over his land they cause a lot of damage, you know, to the fields and to the hedges. And they don't ask, they just go wherever they want. So I'm glad people can't go hunting anymore. It was only a few very rich people who were interested in it anyway. I'm sure they can find something else to do in their free time. Rory. My home is on the edge of town, between the town and the country, I think I understand both sides of the argument about fox hunting, but a lot of people who live in towns don't really understand it. In fact, they don't understand rural traditions at all. They only go into the countryside to have a picnic a few times a year. I never went hunting myself. I'm not that keen on horse riding, but I respect it as a traditional activity. I think it's important to respect all of our national traditions, not just the ones that are really popular. Jake. I don't see how anybody can say fox hunting is right. It's disgusting. The whole point of the hunt is to chase and then kill a living animal, the fox. Why? Just because a few upper-class idiots think that it's fun. Well, it's wrong to have fun by killing animals. End of story. Perhaps when hunting started hundreds of years ago, people didn't worry so much about the rights of animals. But people are different now. We respect animal rights. That's why so many people are vegetarians. Christine. I really don't see what the problem is. I mean, it's only a few foxes. Look at all the animals that are killed on the roads every year, every day. And what about fishing? I'm sure the fish think it's cruel, but nobody tries to ban fishing. And do you know why? Because it's popular with millions of people. And the silly thing is, we do need to control the number of foxes, because they damage farmers' fields and eat their chickens and lambs. Without hunting, farmers have to shoot foxes and that's probably crueler than hunting because the foxes die more slowly. It just doesn't make sense to me. So you have heard four different opinions. Uh, some of them were for fox hunting, some of them were against, but every opinion has had its argument. Keturios nuomonės buvo išreikštos, keturios buvo už, keturios prieš lapį medžioklę, tačiau kiekviena nuomonė turėjo savo argumentus. Um, dabar pastiprinsime su jumis pretimą ketvirtą. Čia buvo tokie atsakymai. In favor reiškia pritarė, against reiškia nepritarė. Exercise 5. Try and think, what is your opinion? What do you think? Uh, is it wrong? Or uh, maybe you're in favor, 
of fox hunting. Exercise 6. Um, please write down your opinion whether you agree or disagree uh, with the fox hunting and tell me why. Give reasons uh, where possible. You may use exercise 5 uh, and exercise 3 uh, as well as uh, the text to back up your opinion. And the last part of the lesson, I would like us to do some extra exercise, which is not in the book. Uh, we're going to watch a culture clip about Sydney. I'm going to leave the script as well. And after you watch it, I'd like you to do some exercises, which uh, are going to be given uh, later. <laughs> The city of Sydney is on the southeast coast of Australia. It's the country's biggest city, with a population of about 4 million people. It is an international city. Over half of its residents were born outside Australia. Sydney is sometimes called the Harbour City, as it is built around a natural harbour Aboriginal people lived in this area for at least 30,000 years before the Europeans arrived. The first Europeans arrived on the 26th of January, 1788. They were led by Captain Arthur Phillips. He arrived with 11 ships full with over 700 British criminals. This date is celebrated every year with a national holiday called Australia Day. Two and a half million tourists visit the city every year. Sydney is most famous for the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. Work started on the Harbour Bridge in 1924 and it finally opened in March 1932. The bridge is just over one kilometre long and carries eight lanes of traffic, two train lines, a footway and cycleway. Over 160,000 vehicles cross the bridge every day between the centre of the city and the north of the harbour. You can climb the 1,439 steps to the top of the bridge. In 2008, a couple got married on the top of the bridge. A Danish architect called Jan Utsen designed the Sydney Opera House. He won a competition to design the building. His design was amazing, but very difficult to build. Work started on the building in 1958, but when the building finally opened in October 1973, it was 10 years late and had cost 102 million Australian dollars. It was meant to cost 7 million dollars. But now everyone recognises the beautiful building and two million people visit it every year. They come to see the amazing building and to watch concerts, plays, ballets and operas here. There are a thousand rooms inside and more than one million tiles on the roof. In 2007, it was chosen as a United Nations World Heritage Site, like the pyramids in Egypt and the Taj Mahal in India. Some of the words uh, may be a little less known uh, at the end of the video clip. For example, tiles. Tiles sera plitales. A heritage, paraldas. And uh, I guess the word you may not know is uh, maybe a roof 
for example, stogas. Uh, so I would recommend watching the video again and um, when you watch it, please do the exercises. Um, the exercises are these ones. So, um, uh, the video report um, has the information you need to complete the fact file. Uh, location in Australia, Kura uh, Sydney, Australia, population, population, also known as Belkodar Rajinomas Sydney. First Europeans arrived, Kadatiko uh, Pirme Europeachi, most famous for Dudalika uh, del Kuru Iral Ipach Jinomas Sydney. Number of tourists per year, kiek turistot pažiūrėja kas met, Harbour Bridge opened, uh, kokiais metais buvo atidarytas Harbour Bridge. Second exercise, uh, you need to answer the questions. Who was living in Australia when the Europeans arrived? Kas gyvena Australijoje tuo metu, kai atvyko Europiečiai? Who arrived in 11 ships with Captain Arthur Phillips? Kas kartus Arthur Phillips, kuris buvo kapitonas, atvyko... Mm, how many lanes of traffic does this bridge carry? Jeigu matėte video, kai žiūrėsite dar, kad atkreiptite dėmesį, kad vyksta eismas per patį tiltą. Tai kiek kelio juostų yra ant tilto? 4. What did the couple do on the bridge in 2008? 2008 metais po realė Kažką tai darė ant tilto. Kasgi tai buvo? Who was John, uh, Jorn, sorry, Utsen? Kas toksai jis tai buvo? Uh, apart from opera, what can you watch at the opera house? Ką dar? Apart operos uh, galima pamatyti uh, opera house. So now you should stop the video and uh, do the exercises. After that, please unpause it and uh, I'm going to give you the answers. So the answer key is... That's it for today. Primenu, kad reikia atsiųsti savo nuomonę apelapimę džioklę, argumentuotą, remiantis tekstu bei klausytais tekstais nuomonėmis. Thank you and have a nice day.